Hey, good morning traders. This is my morning brief video for September 27, 2022. Okay, so what I'm really focused in on today, okay, so I've got uh, basically two Ichimoku's uh, on this chart. Uh, one is your standard Ichimoku, standard set, uh, defaults, which are actually lined up with the standard defaults for MACD, okay? And then I have a custom Ichimoku using 5 and 13 as my uh, indicators, okay? So what I want to show you guys here is if you zoom in here real quick here, okay? Okay. Our momentum Ichu uh, uh, MACD is uh, starting to cross to the bullish side this morning, okay? We're inside our momentum cloud, okay? And I've also got the exponential 50 on my chart on a two-hour time frame, okay? So, I am really stocking this flat area on Ichimoku today and this Mac, uh, and this moving average. That's right around the 37.45, 37.50 area. Okay, and the reason for that, okay, let me zoom back out. Okay, we're going to go over here. Okay, so uh, see where the MACD momentum started crossing bullish on our on our uh, moment, MACD right there. Okay, on this big move down back in June. Okay, we came right up to this 50 exponential moving average and found resistance. Okay, so that's what I'm lo really looking for here. A back test at this 50 and possibly getting rejected. So that is my major. Uh, uh, primary uh, th uh, thesis that I'm working at on right now. Okay, now uh, this came down like a rock in June, so we're back down to those levels now, and our uh, moving averages are pretty much similar to where they were back in June. <clears throat> but this came down like a rock. Okay, and uh, so in my opinion, from the way I'm looking at this. We are setting up to back test this for an additional leg lower, which this leg lower that we saw in June, that'll put us back down to the 3600 area. Okay, uh, very bearish, uh, uh, longer term Ichimoku. And so basically you see how we are just seeing, we are starting the, the bigger uh, bearish cloud. You know, you know, at this point we seem, this is where I think we are today. Uh, somewhere in this area right here versus June, okay? Uh, so we were kind of in the early st stages here. If I zoom back out, okay? And just keep an eye, just remember how these clouds look right now here, okay? And then we go over here, okay? This is where we're at right now. I think we're still in the early stages of this really bearish cloud, suggesting the next leg lower. So, and you know, notice the clouds aren't even overlapping yet. You know, some for almost a mirror of the clouds uh, relative to what we saw uh, back in uh, June. So, uh, I just wanted to share that insight, what I'm looking at here. You know, so obviously, my initial thoughts are we're going to go higher. Uh, the uh, Nord Stream One, the only pipeline still coming out of Russia to to uh, to uh, Europe is shut down to this morning there was some sort of an uh disruption in the uh uh supply coming uh the initial reports are uh there was damage to the pipeline or something like that i don't know you know putin may have just turned off the spigot and come come the open of the markets we might find out that uh, putin decided to turn off the gas so uh you know we're right now initially this morning the markets are wanting to do uh uh, a relief rally, it looks like. So, uh, but it, it, it could change at any moment. So, um, just keep this in mind here. But that is my primary thesis that we're probably going to see 37.45, 37.50 today from the back test. Uh, and that's what I want to float with you guys here. Uh, some other things I want to point out here at VX Futures. Okay, we have a double top in at major resistance here on our VX futures. We're also on our momentum line. We're right into our lagging line. So if we were to test start taking out the pre-market lows here on uh, VX futures, 
that's also bullish, potentially bullish for the markets. So keep that in mind really close here for a possible signal here, uh, you know, a, a further bullish signal here. A little something a little bit different though. This is my June chart right here. Uh, see how we were really into a bearish cloud uh, when we first went up to tag uh, the 50 EMA. Okay, let me zoom out real quick here, and I'll show you what we're doing here on the Nasdaq. It's a little bit different. Okay, so we got this big uh, potential void here today here on the NQs. So. So we we do have the momentum seems to be slightly more bullish this time around on tech versus what we had back in June. So we'll keep that in the back of your mind here that tech's showing a little bit stronger strength at these levels than what we were actually seeing back in uh, June. So, you know, that's leaning a little bit more to the bullish side. And we're also potentially into the end of this bearish cycle uh you know it could have happened we might still have a couple more days you know you have to give it about five four five days for the cycle low but you know what i'm seeing here in tech potentially here that we might be bottoming out here so and i do not want to discount the fact that that, that could be happening here so uh so right here this was your uh your opex open it was way down here for the week so we're well above our OPEX open for the week on the NASDAQ. Uh, looks like we're going, to, we're going to be opening solidly above our CPR as well. Testing at 50 EMA to start the session here. So, you know, let's, let's cross our fingers here. You know, things uh, might be uh, looking a little bit better here. So, and I'll finish off here with the Russell. Okay, my final take here using our itchy, okay. Uh, so this is, I'm going to zoom in here on the June to begin with here. Okay, uh, look, at, you can look at your uh, uh, momentum indicators here. Okay, uh, so basically in June, when we started getting our signal line crossing, so we know right here is what we want to focus in on. Okay, so basically, we're probably right into this time frame right here versus June. Okay. So uh, it looks like we we might have just dismissed a tag of that 50 EMA back in June. So let's don't count on actually hitting that today. You know, they rejected before we actually got to that 50 EMA. So uh, just remember that, uh, you know, taking that forward here. Let me auto zoom this now. We'll zoom in here. Uh, okay. So here's what we got going on right now. If that's, you know, so we might be able to, we might be seeing a uh, responsive eye signal. We're inside of our cloud, our momentum cloud above our, uh, you know, we're above our uh, primary lagging line for the primary uh, Ichimoku. Okay. That's, you know, so we are pushing, trying to push right above that. that. That, that should act as support. As long as this candle right here holds, that should be new support for uh, the Russell opening session. So, so we know we, as long as we're holding this candle low, uh, 1681.40, that is your lie in the sand to stay long. Okay. So be aware of that 1681.40 on the Russell, you know, that make sure that lagging line holds to stay long into the trade. Okay. So that's just a few quick takes that I've got right here. Uh, Johnny has a much better video than i do but uh i just wanted to give you from a different perspective and uh you know we'll, we'll go from there okay and uh, honestly i don't even have any trade ideas set up yet uh, uh i'm going to try to play it as ear and like i said I, i'm sticking with the quick scalp idea go large quick scalp call it a day so hopefully i can find a good setup today Oh, uh, final thing here, we do have a uh, relative strength. Uh, 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 so we got some Apple. Uh, we got quite a bit of volume in Apple this morning. AMD, keep an eye on AMD. And we do have a double bottom on our semiconductors, suggesting that if we were to catch a rally, the semis might outperform here. So be aware of that scenario. Uh, you know, 
they're the ones that could potentially squeeze the hardest. Uh, I know right now that chart looks god awful right now. So, uh, you know, not really what I prefer to see for a uh, a long setup today. But we do have quite a bit of volume over a million shares in AMD this morning. So be aware of that. 